Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to show you guys how you can sync document libraries inside of each other so that you don't have to keep clicking through Teams or clicking through multiple locations in order to organize all of your documents. So I'm going to go into the Teams area and I'm going to use US Sales. So within US Sales, these are called channels. And so I'm going to go into the general channel. And now I'm going to go into the files library. Now within files and within general, this is actually a folder within the US sales document library. I'll get into that in another video. Now maybe the US sales team is also part of the retail team and they also need access to retail and to sales and marketing. And so maybe I want to put links to these document libraries here within this library of US sales so that they can quickly access instead of having to jump through these teams. And so what I can do now is I can click on this button up here called add cloud storage. By doing this, it'll give you a couple different options here. Now we're going to use SharePoint, but maybe your team is also using Dropbox or Box or Ignite, ShareFile, or maybe you're using Google Drive. There's a lot of different cloud storage options out there, and these are some of the ones that play into Microsoft Teams relatively easily. As you can see, we're only doing a few different clicks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use SharePoint, but if you wanted to do Google Drive or Dropbox, it would work the same way. So I'm going to choose SharePoint. And now it's going to ask me a couple different questions in terms of where do these documents live and how do you want to add them. You can use a SharePoint link by simply pasting the link directly in, but I'm going to go into relative sites. And so I'm going to take a look at maybe test site. Let's do that one. Now I could use sales and marketing, or could use retail. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just use the the one that I had mentioned. So I'm going to go into sales and marketing now. I'm going to go into the files and I'm going to click this open in SharePoint. This will open it up into a new window. And so now I'm going to pull the document URL, which I know you guys can't see because it's hidden up here at the top, but I'm going to pull that URL and then I'm going to go back into sales into the general tab going to go into files and go back to where we were that add cloud storage then I'm going to click on SharePoint now that I've grabbed that URL I can use the SharePoint link and I can click go it's going to pull it up I select it and hit next now it's going to say which document library do you want to use from this site collection that, of the link that you just gave us well there's only one so we're going to select that and then we're going to add the folder now the sales and marketing documents is here. And so if we were to click on this, now we should see general and monthly reports, which are right here, general and monthly reports. We're not able to see the executive team because that's actually a private channel, but we are able to see the other documents inside of the sales and marketing. Now, if we wanna do the same thing for retail, go into general within retail. Again, we're gonna go into files. Now we're going to go into open in SharePoint, which will open it up into a new window. Now we want to grab that URL, go back into general sales, go into files. We're going to add cloud storage one more time, choose SharePoint. We're going to use a SharePoint link again. We're going to paste it, hit go. We're going to choose retail and then we're going to hit next. Now, it does give us a few different document library options here because there is more document libraries. So if you wanted to create a library that didn't exist in part of Teams, right? It's not part of the main document library, but you wanted to separate your libraries out, you could also do that. So you could add documents and retail images here. So you could say documents, hit next, add the folder. Now we have it, and if we wanted to do it one more time, for the add cloud storage, we'll go SharePoint. We're going to do use SharePoint link. We're going to paste, go, retail, next. And this time we're going to use the retail images and hit next and add the folder. Now we have these three file locations mapped to our general channel within US sales where we can go into sales and marketing. And then we can go back 
to the general. We can go into retail documents, general NC 460 sales, which is right here. And we can go back or we can go into retail images, which we have these three images. So now all of our documents are consolidated into one single location. I would really only recommend doing this at the highest point. So if sales and marketing team is your main team and then US sales and retail are your breakout teams, I'd probably do it there instead of doing it within US sales. But it's up to you guys how you wanna organize your documents. I think there is a lot of different methodologies out there of how you can organize documents. I myself am against folders. These, not these, not these types of folder mapping, but I'm against the use of more folders than you have to. So in going into the general documents, you know, we have one layer of folders, monthly reports. We have one layer of folders. Notice they're not, we're not folder diving as we get into. I like that methodology. I like the use of metadata, but do what's best for your team. There's tons of reports out there if you need more information on methodology around document management. I'll do a few more videos on that, or you can go to capitalpresence.com if you'd like to read our methodology. And guys, I hope you got a lot out of this video. If there is any questions around document management, how to sync these cloud storages, please drop them in the comments. Let me know what other topics you want me to cover on. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, see you.